Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I really do appreciate you joining and supporting the channel and the work that I do. Um, this can be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And it will be a reading having a look to see potentially who's coming in around you, what your next relationship will be like, uh, any time frames as well. Uh, I'll also be providing an extended version Capricorn uh, where I will look at this connection in a little bit more detail. What's essentially bringing you two together, uh, the strengths of your connection, but also the areas where you may, may face challenges. So the extended version will be available below in the show more section. You'll also find my email there if you were after a private reading. I am currently providing those. And my email is listed below. So let's jump into it. Shuffle a little bit more on camera and see what cards come out for you, Capricorn. For your next major love relationship. Okay, there was a few other signs that actually got the full cards been popping up quite a bit in this sort of segment that I've been doing. Uh, it can be someone under the sign of Aries with the full. Um, but new, definitely new beginnings or someone new coming in for a lot of you. Okay, what I really love and what's really standing out to me here, uh, Capricorn, is that you do have the two of chalices. Now, this is often seen as the card of a twin flame or soulmate connection here with these two lovers um, coming together, which is very significant, possibly a twin flame coming in uh, or soulmate connection coming in for a lot of you Capricorns, someone that you feel very deeply connected to in a very powerful way uh, so that's beautiful to see now the two of chalices the three of chalices the king of chalices i'm leaning towards someone with possibly a lot of water influence uh, so cancer pisces scorpio potentially quite prominent in their natal birth chart um, but the king of chalices this is someone who does have a big heart and can be very very romantic so I feel like it is someone quite emotionally sensitive or someone that you could fall in love with. There's a lot of love and affection and you've got the Pisces in the current here, the fish. So I, it, it can be someone with Piscean-like traits to them. Pisceans are known to be quite dreamy, quite creative, uh, sensitive. They are a mutable sign, so they are quite um, interchangeable or a little bit fickle at times. So you may come to see that sort of behavior from this person. Um, I feel like, I don't feel like they're um, a really extroverted out there kind of person. I do feel like they are a little bit more reserved. They could be the only child. They could have an entrepreneurial activity. Maybe they do some sort of freelance work with the full card. Uh, or maybe they will have some sort of self-governing business or project that they're currently working on. Or they like autonomy. They like independence. They like their freedom. I think there might be something that they very much value. Uh, Career-wise, I feel like this person works with a lot of people, though, even if they do freelancing or independence work. I feel like they do work closely with other people. The Page and the Knight of Pentacles have both come up, so it could be someone involved in some sort of goods and services, like a merchant. could be in sales or the finance sector as well. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is on a unicorn here, so I feel like you've got a rare person coming in Capricorn, or it's someone that encompasses a lot of things, a lot of qualities that you're looking for, uh, personality, looks, aspirations, ambitions, common interests, likes, dislikes. It could be someone that really mirrors you in a lot of ways here. But I feel like they are going to be very romantic and it could potentially be a face-to-face -face meeting. For some of you, it is a long-distance connection that will come to fruition. You might also be meeting through group activities. I don't know if this is Zoom calls, conference calls, uh, a class of some kind, uh, or maybe you've already met this person, possibly in some sort of group environment, maybe even from the workplace here. I do feel like this person uh, is heavily concentrated on their career right now, but I also feel like uh, the three of chalices can sort of undermine or carry this this symbolism here of a third party situation. And then you've got the two of cups and possibly the full card here. So I think 
Some of you may meet this person and you may be torn, Cappy. You might have someone else you're interested in romantically or they may have someone else on their end. So for some of you, although it's not a strong link, but for some of you, it may start off as like an innocent flirtation with this person uh, and, and you both might be actually unavailable, but that could be the way in which this relationship gets off the ground for some of you. Um, you might make quite a bit of mistakes. I feel like in one way, yes, the Fool can represent Aries, um, quite an assertive energy, but in another, if you take the sign out of the equation, the Fool card, you know, it's this pelican and he's found this stump, he's found safety here. Um, he's in he's in a bit of the darkness, you know, we can see the water splashing up here, there's a strong current. Um, it could be that uh, this person is undergoing something very emotional at the time of your meeting. Uh, it could be loss, it could be health, um, it could be something with relationships. But I think there's there's a lot of um, emotions that are heightened around this person for some reason. So they may be going through some things, Capricorn, when the two of you connect. But I feel like they might have a hidden or a very unique talent or it's a very unique relationship um, or the fact that this relationship gets off the ground at all. There's some some sort of rarity coming up with the unicorn here, a very magical creature. I mean, it can point to this relationship potentially being very romantic, you sharing a lot of magical moments, this person making you feel just like swept up in the current here, Capricorn. And we all like to feel this way in some time or another, but I think it's especially heightened around this person, the way that they're going to make you feel. Um, they could have two to three best friends, or maybe even if... Um, they're not the, the only child. They could have two to three siblings. Um, I feel like they are they are after a long-term relationship. And I feel like in a lot of ways, you, you are mirroring each other in emotions. I feel like this is a quality. Okay, so I feel like they are a fairly fair person. It's give and take for them, Capricorn. Okay, so they like things equal. They like things fair. I do feel they'll, they'll mirror you maybe in looks, uh, features, interests, values, traditions. There's a lot of ways in which we can find that mutualness with other people. So I think you'll share a lot in common. Um, and there's a lot of beautiful moments you're going to enjoy in this relationship, actually. But there's definitely a lot of lessons that you're going to learn. And the lesson, the fool sits on top of the three of chalices. Could it be a lesson around a third party, uh, like an ex or something? Possibly. Uh, that possibly could be the case here. I th I think in one way they could, I, I want to say emotional manipulation. Um, obviously, the degree to which this manipulation happens is going to vary. But I feel like you see how he's emerging here and he's got his arms and he's controlling the current. Something about controlling of emotions I don't know if this person, emotions at times could be a little bit uncontrollable. I don't know if they'll try and control your emotions, the way in which you respond to them. But I feel like they like to gain control or they do it through their emotions. So, and I want to say, not that the King of Chalices is manipulative, but I do feel with seeing the Cancer Moon and the Pisces, the, the fish in the stream here, it can be someone who is who can be quite moody and expressive, but I think it's almost like whatever they feel, whatever emotions you cause them to feel Capricorn, they'll want you to feel too. So it's almost like I want you to feel how I feel. Whether this be good or bad, I think it's something that they're going to try to sort of um, interweave into this relationship. I will continue now with your extended reading. Uh, the link will be below. Uh, in the show more section and that'll take you to my Vimeo channel where you can rent or purchase the extended reading and I will be using a couple more decks for that reading.